All right, welcome back to SnowRunner. And as you can see, I'm here still with the Pacific P15, 16, sorry, P16, not 15. <laughs> and the Scout 800. And I'm going to try to get this P16 all the way around because the bridge, I cannot fix it currently with what I got here so I'm going to try and get it over here and then through here um let's see through where was it here onto this road towards our trans star and then when it's at the trans star of course it's an easy drive to Smithville Dam and to the garage so let's get started let's try see if we can get it there um as we're doing this i was mistaken the last episode as i said that i had something planned for this one uh i still do have that one thing planned and i'm not going to go into it just yet but yeah, I don't have all the stuff together for that yet, so it has to wait for another maybe two episodes because I'm going to be fairly quick on Friday's episode. Today is Wednesday's episode, of course. Um, I'm going to be fairly quick on Friday's episode, so maybe um, next week on Monday I will have that ready. To go. Oh no, those are not. And this truck, I have to say, it's getting through everything quite easily, to be honest. Easier than I would have expected such a big behemoth uh, to be able to. I'm going to stop the engine for a moment because it's getting dark and I don't like driving this thing in the dark. So I'm just going to skip through the morning and try and get everything done before nighttime again falls. You know me. <laughs> just pushing the boundaries of what is possible. Oh, am I going to be able to fit on that bridge though? <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, no, come on, come on, man, come on, fit, oh, you fit, you fit, only just, it's okay, only the front wheels have to go on, it has nothing in terms of upgrades or anything, so it's just, driving as it is it does have a high gear though i see that's good that's nice that's destroying the engine that's not helping because i think that this engine is like 90 percent of the work uh or 90 percent of the reason that it's getting through everything Come on, make the turn. Yeah, we're through. And that's the gas station, so we have to turn in here to take Karen's road. We are slowly, but surely, getting there. We are really getting through it, though. I mean... It didn't really get stuck in anything yet. And there were trucks, or our scout with way better rated tires than this truck does. Uh, had a lot more trouble getting through it. I mean, look at this. It's not even bothered. Oh, that, there it was, there it's bothered. Oh, that's because there's a tree stump there. 
because I was trying to avoid something that I shouldn't avoid. Or should I? Come on, just pull yourself through that. Wasn't hitting the ground with my tires. I should have avoided that, but it was uh, less of a pain than I thought it would be. Come on. Getting up here is going to be a pain, I see. Or is it? Or is it? Is it? I just felt like getting, ripping two, three, two trees out of the ground. And then it was going to go. Alright. If that tickles your fancy, I mean, I'm not gonna... not gonna hold you back. You know. It's really what you want to do. And you, you do you. Come on. There we go. There we go. We're moving again. Damn, this truck is... something else. So, we already got through from here, through here, through here, then we went here. So we kind of made a small, a short, different kind of route, I think. I do wonder what is here. Oh, it's a scout flatbed. I, I wonder that if I'm going to bring my scout over there and it has two sets of planks, I'm going to be pissed. But uh, we are currently here, so it's up to us to go over here and turn in there, all the way there. So just wanna, just wanna mark my spots where to turn because it's quite easy to overlook. I think this is um, not going to be what I wanted to do, but or it's not going to do what I wanted to do. Why does it keep hitting its engine on everything? Don't you know that you need your engine? Kirk be like, oh, I thought I thought it was just something something fancy to make it cost more I thought it was just something fancy to make it cost more no it's necessary it's necessary slow yourself down boy don't hit your engine on everything again all right, this should be easy if we finally get over to the other side. We're not going to be... Oh, we are floating away though. But again, the mighty P-16 is pulling through without any effort, actually. Alright, what side are we going? Cousin Cletus, I still need to pick that up, so I'm going to quickly do that now that I have a, a truck that I trust to do that. Oh, I trust my Scout 800, but, you know, this is more impressive. <laughs> Cousin Cletus is going to be like, woohee! 
I don't know what you did to get that, but <laughs> I like it. That, you know, insert redneck voice here and just go for it. <laughs> All right, Cletus. What do you got? Hey, I'm Chris from Dyson. Dyson, you know, you ever trust somebody and they lose cargo and now you might get fired. I'm not saying that somebody is my cousin Cletus, but I'm not saying it's not Cletus. Can you find the lost cargo? Hmm. Can I? I don't know. Do I want? We nearly got stuck there. Guess the truck sinks into the mud because it's heavy. So we need to keep moving. Just turn on back and get going. You know, she's less thirsty than I thought she'd be. Being the size that it is and the weight and all that, again, it's the engine, just for fun. Yeah, I think you're doing it for fun now, at this point, you know. I would twig save the truck. Yeah, I was not going to be able to push and to pull that one back on its wheels when it was really tipped over. I do not have the capacity for that. Am I going in here? Yes, I'm going in there. Alright. Let's start turning already. And we are hitting a tree. Because the turning circle is uh, that of a container ship. Here we have the maintenance trailer, which we can pull along with us already. I mean, I might as well. This one on there. Let's go. You come with me, little boy. It just doesn't care. Now those maintenance trailers are quite heavy. Just gonna attach it. It's not gonna change anything anyway. Now those trailers are quite heavy, you know, and gonna say that this truck isn't capable of doing it I mean come on it's look at it it's doing it anyway but it shouldn't be able to do this this easy you know hello Here we are. Just gonna put that trailer over here along the road where it's easier to reach. And we are with the Transtar passing by. Just gonna put it somewhere on the road further on. So that I know that if ever I need it, it's going it's gonna be there. 
but if ever I need it, it's going to be there anyway. Hmm. Hmm. And stop the engine. And then go back to the Scout 800. Because we have... A trailer here, a scout trailer to find. So we need to pass here. And go there. Is that a passing? It's not a passing. Uh, of course it's not. No, I can't pass there. Scout 800 is not up for that task. No, she, that's going to kill the scout. All right. Well, this um, was uneventful, ma mainly. I, I mean, it was expected for it to do that well, but I was like, huh? Wait, what? So, um, yeah, I'm going to just... Uh, find that other scout trailer and perhaps depending on what's on it I'm going to pull it to a bridge or I could join that trailer over there see what we need to support local rangers Come on. You can do this. I saw a P-16 do it. You, why don't you? P-16 was perfectly capable of doing this, so you, so are you. No. Dang it. Manual winch. Nothing, really. The only thing we got is that tree. Okay, okay, all right. Well, and turn me around. At least. Um, not really the turn me around I was expecting. It's turning me the other way. All right, well. You know what? Pull me over. Pull me over! Really? Now there's nothing else I can grab onto, huh? There really is nothing... Nothing else. Ah, oh, there it is. Good. Thank goodness! There was another tree. Otherwise, I would have been stuck. There we go. That's what I wanted. Now you get there. There we go. All right, let's. Get to finding that trailer. Uh, gas? Oh, I do not trust that. And now I'm going to be in here. Fighting with mud for my life. Go. The trailer is empty. Oh no, it's not. It's got metal beams. Um, do I need metal beams for anything soon? Um, Support local rangers. It's two times wooden planks. All right. 
I do not need metal beams for that. I could, however... Fix that bridge quite quickly. And what about the other one? Uh, island bridge. Oh, huh. where is it? Oh. It is not. This one. Also wooden planks. So, both of them are quite simple to do if I just... Take this trailer... I think I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm just going to... Uh, remove the cargo because I'm not going to use it anyway. I'm just going to use the trailer. The flatbed trailer and that's just going to be our way of transporting the planks to the bridges. Both of them should be quite simple and easy. Now watch it go to part two of the of the mission and then I brought the wooden planks and then it says oh give me metal beams as well. Watch it do that. Watch it. Because that's how the game treats me usually. Because it doesn't like me. Uh, I do need to go to the gas station. Am I going to... Am I willing to risk it? You know what? No sacrifice, no victory. Let's go. That was a lot easier than expected. I'm going to risk another bunch of money. Just to be sure that I'm going to be able to reach everything that I need. Let's go. Now these rocks and stuff, they are quite annoying. Getting me stuck occasionally on this specific trail. Because this truck is not as nimble or... Nimble? How is the P-16 nimble? I was comparing it to the P-16, but it's not as... Big as the P-16, I think. I think that's the correct term. As big, as large, as impressive to the mud. Basically the mud doesn't care as much. And I'm slowly sinking into the water. But as long as I'm still moving, I'm still moving. And I'm still getting there. This can be attached to you. And you are going to pull me back into the mud. Into a viable road. Where I can get grip. And there, yes, there's still forward motion, so I don't mind being here for a long time. So I'll try to get out of here. If I'm going to be out of here in a couple seconds, then it's not going to be a time lapse if I'm going to be out of here. 
Oh, I'm going to be out of here in a couple seconds, let's see. We are getting into grippy locations. Oh, don't, don't, don't grab that. Don't grab behind you, grab in front of you, come on. We're nearly there. So you can do this. By yourself. Please. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. There we are. Now, here's fiasco number two. I'm guessing. You can see the tracks of the P-16 still there. Don't grab behind you, grab in front. Oh! In front! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! In front, that's what I meant, exactly. Now you can pull yourself through it. See? It's not that hard if you listen. I do realize that's still in front, but that's not what I meant. That's the only one I can still grab onto. Alright. You know what? I can still grab onto it. And make it useful. See? And then can I reach it? I can. Perfect. Let's get going. Then I don't need to use this terrible, terrible, terrible piece of mud ever again. When I get through this. Especially if the rain stops, would be great. Because the rain's really making my life hard. Really not making passing this easy. Can we not have rain, please? Please. That please. Said please. Mud's hard enough already when it's dry. Because it's still wet. But making it rain makes it even more difficult. Come on. Alright. We got a grip finally, so now we're able to pull up. If we're not going to shift gears. This mission here is support local rangers, I'm guessing. Yeah. Alright, let's get moving on to a more solid ground which is here good and now go to the sawmill uh, first of all I'm going to activate start tracking this one because it's quite near I hope this is going to be <laughs> quite an alright track if not, I'm going to uh, quietly cry in the corner and then I'll see you guys after. Alright, so I don't need to quietly cry in the corner. Uh, that was quite easy. I do agree like how easy that was. What's this task? Lost delivery. Alright, I'll just accept it, but it's don't activate it. Don't track it yet. I think that's going to be uh, a good route to take with uh, with the planks as well. I hope that being with the planks is not going to bog me down too much. Quickly load and go, load and go. Keep moving. That's another 30 XP for discovering a trailer, which is nice. I like discovering trailers and getting XP for that. 
Uh, where was that road? Yeah, it's there. No, don't get stuck into the mud. Don't get sucked in. It's a succubus. You do have to take into account that there can be tree stumps there. But not usually. And I do like the fact that should have done this a lot sooner. Low plus. Because then we will not shift gears anymore. We're just driving as if we're not as bogged down as that it looked like. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Not on the rock. Just... There we go. Task. Need to bring it down here. Down here. Down here. Oh, this is just a wooden bridge. Build it. Fix it. And let me drive it. That's it. Good. Perfect. Next. Go back to get the wooden planks, so I'll see you there. Let me turn around. Alright. I'll see you there. Alright, so uh, another set of wooden planks. Uh, it was of bridges and men to go there. Uh, in order for that, we need to... Past the net, past the bridge, go past the fuel station, and get to the bridge. And then it's just a straight road back to the tram start. So I will uh, take you guys along on a speedy drive going there. Uh, allow me to quickly get onto this piece here to not fall down and refuel my scout and and change it today time uh, and then I'll see you guys when I'm at the next bridge and you will follow me along in a time lapse I will be there in just a couple seconds So, uh, that last bit was a bit dramatic, but here we are. Final bridge to fix. And another thousand bucks. I don't know if it's dollars or credits or whatever, but... I'm just going to join my, uh, my Transtar now. And just going to have a coffee in the Transtar and going to get something to drink for the truck aka fuel and then I'm going to be signing off for today so let's get this little scout 
truck with the scout trailer moving in that direction this was one of the trees where the the P-16 got stuck on or not stuck on but was about to hit because its turning radius was so huge and we are nearly at the Transtar this is where the maintenance trailer was stuck at we pulled it along with us which uh, bogged us down fairly m much around here so I'm going to try to move across because and this road here is a little bit easier because it's harder surface and here we are come on come on making the turn should be able to see the trend star any second now move over past the poles the power poles get on top and this is another piece where we're going to be settling in to the mud Let's keep a bit above the mud yeah keep it going keep it going and here is a hard surface again we are going to pass along that side of the power pole there we go and here's the maintenance trailer and there is the trailer for the scout 800 that's attached to the Transtar and now I know I cannot get the scout trailer on top of this trailer I know that but I'm going to try anyway Detach, stop the engine, refuel. No, not from. Uh, fill it up, fill up the roof rack. And there we are. Uh, change truck to the Transtar. Uh, pack trucks and trailers. Cannot. I'm just going to move along here like this so that it drops off. Just going to keep it off and then activate the ramp and pull it towards the P16 and then we're going to go sign off for the day. All right, as we are now parked next to the P16, I'm going to Fuel it up from the tank and stop my engine. And I'm going to wish you guys a fantastic rest of your week and a fantastic rest of your day, depending on what time you're watching this. I hope that you will have a fantastic weekend coming up. If not, plan something really cool, something really awesome. Like watching my Friday episode. Nudge, nudge. No, but really, plan something really awesome for yourself. You deserve it. I wish you guys a fantastic rest of your week and a fantastic weekend and peace out.